Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to use Alertify JS. So Alertify JS is nothing but it is used to show message. So just like how we did with Sweet Alert, we are going to do it with Alertify in which you are comfortable. You can just go with that. So before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page. So let's get started with the video. So let me tell localhost slash Sneha codes slash admin dashboard admin dot index. In previous video, we have worked with Alertify. So I have uploaded this video. If you have not yet watched, go check it out. Here in database, actually, I have made one mistake. So inside admin panel, so what I did was I just manually inserted data. So what happened is I have entered in place of email, I have entered phone and in place of phone, I have entered email. Let me just correct this first. So I'm just copying this copy anu at gmail.com is this phone number. Here I have entered one null data. Let me delete that. So it is loading actually. I think this may take time so in this video we are not going to concentrate on this so but then if you have done the same mistake please do change it i just entered manually once after doing this that is why it has got misplaced actually so i'll just change in upcoming video i think this is taking a long time to reload so let me go reload here so we worked with insert so here also in insert.php if you can see after coming to insert page i have one button here so actually this insert button is not required only because we are in inside insert page itself. So let's go remove that button. So go to insert.php, not index, go to insert and inside card you will have button, take off this insert button. So actually that is not required, only back button is required. Just save, go back, reload. So this was the one change that I wanted to tell and this was another change which I wanted to tell. This is taking a long time. One more change which I, I made personally was if you go to code.php, you can't see the connection here. So uh, if you have observed in the first video, I would have given the connection here and uh, started the session. Later on, uh, what I did was instead of calling that uh, session start everywhere, I wanted an index page here. I wanted an insert page. So what I did was I just created one folder as dbconfig and I named the file also as dbconfig and just pasted this connection and session here. So what happens is I don't need to include the, this session start everywhere. Just include this file. So that is what I have done here. And this I think it is still reloading. I don't know what is the issue with that. Let us just stop this admin panel. Again start. Okay, now I have got. So here, if you see, I have changed for two data. This fifth one, we'll just change it while we are editing. So let me delete the sixth data. So I have just entered a blank data. Yeah, that's it. So we have made all the three changes. Now let us go browse here alertify.js. So this is the official website of Alertify. Let's go inside. Don't worry, I'll give you guys this link in the description. So here, getting started. So latest compiled and minified JavaScript and CSS file. We have to include the script as well as CSS link. So let's do that first. Let us open our code and go to header.php. So here we are adding that links, right? Let us give a comment line and tell color t5 js copy the css link here copy paste it here okay done and here we have themes so we have to copy one theme we have default semantic and bootstrap let's copy this bootstrap theme copy and paste it here so now the css is done now let us go paste the javascript so here we have script. So let us copy the script tag and go to footer. So we are pasting script inside footer. Here let's give this as 
sweet alert and here let us add a comment and tell alert t5 js okay let's cut this paste it here so this is the bundle this is the sweet alert and here alert t5 let's go copy it once again right click copy and paste it here done yeah that's it now we have the php code here let us comment this or else even this will get executed let's comment this and go to components inside notifier we have the position so here you can set the position if you want top right you will be getting the message here if you want top center you will get it here so you have bottom right you have in left side as well so whichever position you want you can just choose it i'll just take top center let us copy this code and here spell script inside script just paste this so now let's echo and see if this is getting displayed so let's tell hello world so here i've pasted the script let us go reload if i'm getting this alert if i am reloading I've got hello world. Just like sweet alert, we don't require this to print the message whenever we reload. Right? So what we are going to do, here we have the if condition. So this is the same if condition, just the script part will be changing. So what we are doing is, just copy this if, copy this, paste it here and remove the comment line. Here, the script, just cut this script and paste this script. So, cut, paste. Align a bit. And so, once after this is aligned, we don't want this to be displayed as hello world. We want to print the message, right? So, let's copy this echo status and paste it here. Okay. So, uncomment this session here. So comment this unset function here. So, I have just commented. Now, let us go insert one data and check if this message is getting printed. Reload. I am going to enter this as Monu. Give the phone number. Monu at the rate gmail.com and click on save data. So when I save data, I am getting that alertify message, data inserted successfully. So yeah, that's it in this video. In next video, we will see how to fetch those data. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.